Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going something a little bit different. I'm gonna just do a catch up video on my career mode so that you can jump right in without having to watch the first couple of episodes. So we have made it to December now. We've played 13 games as you can see and we're on 21 points. Um, we went on a pretty decent and beaten run until we just recently played Bayern Munich in the cup where we lost pretty heavily. Um, one of the other defeats we've had is also against Bayern Munich. You can see there it is, a 6-2 loss. Um, probably not the best match we've ever played, but uh, yeah, it did look like we were gonna do a comeback at the end, but unfortunately not. You see, we got a rivalry win against Borussia Dortmund there on the 7th of November. Uh, a big win in the cup to set up that match against Bayern Munich, 6-0. But um, like I said, 6-2 loss in the next round wasn't really that good. Uh, back in September, you see 3-0 loss to Wolfsburg was the last loss we had um, because we lost the game before, 4-0 to Bayern Munich. But after a couple of draws, yeah, form really picked up. We started getting tracks around to the ball a bit more. Um, we realised that Mark Uth was a bit better than Gonzalo Pacienza up front. And although you can see this is how we line up now with some of our new signings, Karsdorp here um, and Drexler here, we do tend to swap these around and play uh, Raman here when he's not a bit tired like he is now. Um, Matondo's probably been our second or third best player. Uh, he's got quite a few goals cutting inside. Of course, pace is always dangerous on FIFA, uh, especially against the AI. He overlaps quite a lot and he pairs pretty well with Karstorp, who likes to overlap too with his work rates being medium, medium. Uh, I'll Pika is probably the next player we're going to upgrade. I'm going to try and sign Kolasniac as soon as we get to the transfer window in a couple of weeks' time. But before that, we have to play four more matches. So we got Hoffenheim, Red Bull Leipzig, uh, Arminia Bielefeld, and Freiburg. So they're not the toughest matches, but um, yeah, you can see Freiburg at bottom of the league, Bielefeld aren't doing great, but as you'd expect, Leipzig are right up there, sorry, right Leipzig, um, they haven't lost the game yet, so hopefully we can be the first to do that. Looking at the goals for column, you can see we score probably, I think we're joint third for the most goals in the league, but our biggest problem is the defence, where we've conceded 19, which is about the same as these teams around here, look, uh, Berlin and Stuttgart, both conceding 20. So really we need to tighten up the defense and keep scoring at this rate if we want to progress any higher up the league. Our defense by itself is actually pretty good with, as I said, the left back being the weak position, but Kolesniac should hopefully be coming in in the January transfer window. We could use a defensive midfielder, so I am tempted to re-sign uh, Winston McKenney. Not re-sign, but recall him from his loan at Juventus. Depending on how many games he's played, I haven't actually checked this in a while. Um, but yeah, it still says zero on there, so we'll have to go into the other thing. But um, yeah, while we have a look at that, we've also got uh, Amini Hirat out on loan. So hopefully we can recall him too. Um, let's have a look quickly at how many games Mr. McKenney's played. Doesn't look like he's played a single game in the Champions League. So yeah, we'll probably be recalling him if he's not playing any matches. Um, I think we can actually see every match if we go in this one. I've never really... Oh, is this just for Germany? Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start using sliders too. So I think the Operation Sports ones are the ones that we've usually been using. I'm not sure why we're using the Premier League ball, but um, yeah, we are, unfortunately. I do play with competitor, competitor mode off, and I did recently start using Legendary and Ultimate, um, depending on if it's a cup game or a league game. But um, I think I'm probably going to be bumping this one up to Ultimate, while um, also throwing in the sliders, like I mentioned before. Other transfers I'm looking to make. So... Hopefully we can get another attacking midfielder in here. Uh, I would like to play tracks the left wing and attacking mid in here and then Matondo will hire it right mid with Uth up front. Um, I think that would be good. So we'll have a new player in here where Teitagwe is. Um, Sirdar and Stambouli are pretty good here. Uh, I don't really like shop and we don't have any of the backups because we had to sell um, the Algerian guy, I can't remember what he was called, Bentaleb, yes, Bentaleb. We had to sell Bentaleb to try and afford Draxler because we were selling to buy in the first transfer window. So McKenny coming in or signing someone like Rakitic might be a better shout. 
because he's a bit better on the ball than McKenney. Uh, but having both McKenney and uh, Rakitic, I think, would give us a pretty good balance in the defensive midfield position. So, yeah, Draxler is by far our best player. I think he's probably top goal scorer and top assists. Yep, top goal scorer, top assists. Also top of clean sheets, but I think that just means he's been playing in quite a lot of matches. Uh, he's also the only person to play in every match. So, yeah, he's uh, he's pretty important to us. So hopefully he doesn't get injured. But as you can see, he can play Cam, CM and left wing. And I think we're going to start Hafs using him at either CM or left wing when we do sign a better Cam. Because although he is good on the ball, I could use someone with a bit better dribbling. He's not too amazing at dribbling um his agility is 80 and his uh, ball control is 84 but if we can get someone who's around 90 for both of them i think they'll perform a bit better so someone like higher here you can see he's got 18 87 agility five star skills he could probably come in and play the left middle cam depending on what we feel like but uh, yeah, that's just a quick catch up on how we're doing. You can see we're on a decent run of form, except that last cup game where Delhi Ali smashed in a hat trick, I think it was. But um, yeah, I thought I'd just do a quick update so that you don't have to watch the whole series to get up to the date, up to date with where we are at the minute. Um, but yeah, expect more career mode coming out soon because I want to try and finish this season before the end of the actual Bundesliga season so that we can play the second season during the off season or during the Euro competition. But um, yeah, it was a pretty quick unscripted video here. I just thought I'd do an update video for you so, uh, so you know how things are getting along and you don't have to invest multiple hours into watching the other videos. So this is just a seven minute quick update for you. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in a full length episode tomorrow or the day after probably. Cheers.